Among all the representatives of the dinosaur age, theropods stand out as the most recognizable and widespread group of reptiles. This type of dinosaur includes a diverse array of species, ranging from small and obscure to the rulers of the animal kingdom of their time. Today, we will focus on the latter. Subscribers to our channel have the opportunity to comment on the videos they watch, sharing their thoughts on the topics we explore. Theropods belong to the group of lizard-hipped dinosaurs. They are considered the most evolutionarily advanced group of prehistoric reptiles and are the ancestors of modern birds. Their name can be translated as beast-footed, reflecting their three-toed, clawed feet that resemble those of contemporary mammals. This group includes not only predators, but also herbivorous reptiles. Throughout the entire dinosaur era, there were species that dominated over others and instilled fear in them. We present to you the top 10 largest and most dangerous theropods. Carcharodontosaurus. The name of this dinosaur, which lived during the Cretaceous period about 100 million years ago, literally translates to lizard with shark teeth. Its first descriptions were made from a pair of teeth found in the 20s in Algeria. Later, many more remains of this large theropod were found in North Africa. From these findings, scientists concluded that these reptiles could reach lengths of up to 13 meters and heights of up to 4 meters. Its skull, featuring 20 centimeter serrated teeth, measured up to one and a half meters in length. Carcharodontosaurus shares structural similarities with Gigantosaurus and Allosaurus. Consequently, as new data emerged, scientists alternately classified it as a separate family or grouped it with one of these families. It is also quite possible that Allosaurus could have been one of its ancestors. Sorophaganax By found in the early 30s of the 20th century in the United States scattered remains, scientists have restored the approximate size of the lizard. It measured up to 13 meters in length and stood about 4 meters tall, weighing around 4.5 tons. Some researchers classified it as a particularly large species of Allosaurus. To date, Scientists have found and studied the fragmented remains of four poorly preserved individuals. It is known that they inhabited the North American continent around 150 million years ago. Mapusaurus. The largest discovered skeletons of Mapusaurus measure just under 11 meters in length. They stood around 4 meters tall, although many scientists believe these theropods could have reached even larger sizes. Mapusaurus lived in what is now Argentina about 95 million years ago. At that time, the area was covered with sparse forests and grassy plains, which made it easier to hunt in coordinated packs. The discovery of remains found together supports this idea. Therefore, despite being smaller compared to some other theropods, they were quite capable of hunting large dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus. Deltadromius the remains of this large yet relatively lightweight theropod were discovered in Egypt and Morocco as early as the beginning of the last century. Some of the bones were initially misidentified as belonging to a different species. With a height of two and a half meters and a body length of up to 13 meters, they weighed no more than two tons. Deltadromius coexisted with Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus which meant they had to address competition by selecting different prey and developing their own hunting strategies. Deltadromius became an active predator, likely hunting juvenile herbivorous dinosaurs. To achieve this, it evolved powerful and fast hind legs, along with a robust shoulder structure. Unfortunately, there is very little reliable information about the skull structure of this predatory theropod. Researchers currently have only a few tooth samples. Carnotaurus. In 1984, an expedition from the National Geographic Society of Argentina discovered a nearly complete skeleton of a new large theropod. This species was named Carnotaurus, meaning meat-eating bull, due to the prominent horn-like structures on its head. Recent studies suggest that Carnotaurus likely did not exceed 8 meters in length and stood around 3 meters tall, weighing approximately 2 tons. Carnotaurus inhabited the open woodlands of the Cretaceous period about 70 million years ago. Allosaurus 
This large lizard hip dinosaur, discovered in the United States in the latter half of the 19th century, was the first species classified as a theropod. Its discovery sparked significant interest in the scientific community, leading to further excavations in Colorado and Wyoming. Over the following decades, many dinosaur bones of various species were unearthed in those regions. Allosaurus, which translates to different lizard, lived during the Jurassic period approximately 150 million years ago. It was a true giant, reaching heights of up to 4 meters and lengths of up to 10 meters, or perhaps even more. Despite its impressive size, Allosaurus weighed no more than two and a half tons. Tarbosaurus Theropods thrived not only in Europe, Africa, and America. In what is now China and Mongolia during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago, a dinosaur known as Tarbosaurus roamed the land. It could reach lengths of up to 12 meters and weigh as much as 5 tons. His remains were discovered by a joint Soviet-Mongolian expedition in the late 40s of the 20th century. The largest of the Tarbosaurus skulls found measures nearly 1 and a half meters in length. In terms of size, this Asian theropod ranks just behind Tyrannosaurus. Gigantosaurus In the late 80s, a lower jaw fragment with a few preserved teeth was discovered in Argentina. This fragment surpassed similar bones from many known theropods and was identified as belonging to an unknown species. A few years later, a well-preserved tibia was found along with other samples within a 10-meter radius. Based on the collected bones, scientists reconstructed the appearance of this dinosaur, which was named Gigantosaurus, meaning giant southern lizard. The skull of Gigantosaurus measured about 160 centimeters in length, while its overall body length averaged over 12 and a half meters. Weighing around eight tons and standing up to four meters tall, these monsters lived in South America approximately 100 million years ago. Spinosaurus. This is the largest predator in Earth's history, and yet its size, appearance, and behavior have remained a mystery for the past 100 years. Throughout its study, numerous theories have been proposed. This fish-eating dinosaur lived in North Africa around 110 million years ago. It measured nearly 15 meters in length and stood 6 meters tall, weighing up to 7.5 tons. Its most distinctive features include an elongated, crocodile-like snout and a sail-like crest on its back. The purpose and appearance of this crest continue to spark debate among scientists to this day. Tyrannosaurus Rounding out our list of the largest and most fearsome predators is not only the most famous theropod, but also the most popular dinosaur of all. Tyrannosaurus rex has earned its role as the ultimate monster in many Hollywood films and animated features about dinosaurs. And it certainly deserves that title. Recent studies suggest that Tyrannosaurus could grow up to 13 meters in length and weigh as much as 9 tons. They were among the most dangerous predators of the Cretaceous period, inhabiting North America and possibly even Eastern Siberia. Scientists are still uncertain about how exactly T-Rex hunted, but one thing is clear, its prey had little chance of escape. Its primary weapon was its powerful jaws, which, combined with a short neck and strong musculature, could crush bones and inflict devastating wounds. Had dinosaurs not gone extinct, it's possible that such large predators would have eventually disappeared over time. However, one could argue that the evolution of modern birds' ancestors could have taken a very different path. Today, perhaps the Earth would still be ruled by descendants of these large predatory theropods. We thank our viewers for sticking with us until the end of this video. To learn more about some of the species discussed, as well as other fascinating facts about the evolution of life on our planet, check out the other videos on our channel.